inaitwa the challenge of finishing the race the challenge of finishing the race changamoto ya kumalizia mwendo in the first service we had a fast teaching and presentation hii lesson if you if you want it utaenda kwa youtube au facebook ya kanisa you get the message it's wonderful kwa sababu tunaishi wakati ambapo i don't know kama you are concerned some there is a program ya kuzuia tumalize mwendo unakuta ulianza kuwa kasichana kazuri kasichana kazuri kasichana kazuri ulilea mtoto tukampe tuka, tuka mwimbia wimbo akiwa primary school is a good boy akiwa form 1 is a good boy kwenda kidogo tu anakuwa si mtoto wa maono uliofikilia Unapigiwa simu for the first time unapokuja shule take your girl take your daughter You know what do you feel in just name Ah uh, unapoishi unapoishi umelea mtoto from one anaingia kwa na 400 marks from two akifika unaambua come take your daughter Unapewa barua nime hapa kwa ofisi nimesoma nyingi almost every week And some letters we receive are very strange. Unaambua now your daughter is a lesbian. Your daughter is using drugs. Your daughter is threatening others. And your daughter analala kwa class. That's very bad. Na jambo la kushangaza let me tell you the truth walimu hawakosei those things are real huwezi padikwa mzazi ukijaribu kukana in counseling the tarash akabia kwambia yeye bishop sikufichi no ile bake hapa na weka hapa inaweza leka huwezi chua one time nilikutana na wasichana watatu just good girls kabia kabia somameni tell me the truth Nani watoto unaona they are look they look good and the parents are happy. Come tell me the truth. Nyinyi watatu. Are you sure you are virgin? Wakaanza kulia. They are not. Ni lini waliharibika? Now question number two. Ni nani katikati yenu hajawahi jaribu kuvuta bagi? Chaos. Sema mimi nilijaribu na wewe? Mimi. They look okay. Ako from two na bagi amevuta. Hello. <laughs> Kuna moja aliniambia bishop sijavuta bagi lakini ilikuwa nimebemba na kiberiti. Sagao. Ate bagi yake ikifika kwa maana ako shule ataenda kwa uwaja avute hiyo bagi amalize. Is dental kamera tashi dalishikwa. Ino inakuwa kwamba is a problem. Strange things. Na wewe mzazi unamkaga saa kumi na mbili kwa sababu hawa watoto. Na ni nini hiyo? Niambieni ni wapi mtoto atavuta you know the other day Obama alisema alikuwa anavuta bangi kwa kijana mdogo. Akaacha. A president in America kusema hivyo is very bad. And I remember there was a research Harvard University which is the best research university in the world walifanya research ya bangi tena it was in the newspaper na wakasema bangi huingia sehemu ya akili ambayo inabeba matatu ya mtu power of power of concentration talent ya mtu na ile akili hufanya mtu aitwe mtu bangi huingia hapo in reduce his of vitu the more mtu anavuta zinakuwa percentage dogo Unaona mtu wa bangi ukimwambia ahesabu shilingi giri kumi atahesabu mpaka giri bili giri ya tano ashidwe kuhesabu hana power of concentration akianza kupika chakula lazima apike chakula ya haraka ndio amalize haraka kwa maana hana uwezo wa kuvumilia mpaka chakula ive ukiingia bedroom yake eh? hajui ku 
katika kitanda socks hawash socks kuoga haogi kwa maana ile akili inamfanya awe mtu ndio bagi waribu the question is na die umefanyia kazi polish umefanyia kazi ya kuuza mashaba miaka yote bijinyima sababu so, hawa watoto i want to announce now we need now to handle the challenge of finishing the race the starting is not a problem but finishing bwana inuliwe sana one time nilikuja hapa we had a meeting na hiyo meeting tutarudisha sasa covid ilitushubua nilikuwa na vijana hapa 500 nikasema milango ifungwe sasa yani unakuna unahisi dhambi Avanisho, mimi nikikaa pahali ya papo kuna dhambi ya usharati, drugs na nini. I sense in the spirit. Nilihisi a lot of things. Nikasikia now is too much now. Mpaka mwalimu akifundisha hana nguvu. Hana hana teachers are complaining because they are powers. But I was in prayer. Niliomba, nikaomba, nikaomba nikasema mtu yoyote ambaye anajua amefanya usharati na haendi binguni ni toka ni mbele i tell you three quarter they were here kiki ni shangaza is the young girls who spoke the truth na hawakuwa kumi, hawakuwa i think almost subs ambao nasema nimetoa miba parents don't know miba ametoa ametoa ndio wewe to power ene kaskia mwalimu wa kawaida wa teenager anaweza aombe sana cannot do that nothing wezi nikaenda class yao nikakuta there saka gao kana kaaga nyua pale very funny that girl we met kambi are you not a satanist ah, kakaaguka na amekuwa kinved class haji kwaje anakuja kuwataka watoto wetu kuni tunagojewa hapo unakuta kwamba ukifika miaka 60 mashabu uko nayo unapea nani ukifika miaka yako 70 gari uko nayo inabidi uwae na funguo hapa kwa maana una manjabazi watatu ukifika miaka miaka kuitwa shoshu Dio naanza sasa we ni kama teenager. Wasichana wamezaa watoto hawaolewi sasa unaachiwa ule hapo. Kuna mmoja hapa bahati shosho amenieta amekuja hapa na watoto sita. Tumichukuu. Akaambia bishop my problem is nilizaa wasichana wane na wote wamekufa kwa jia ukimwi. They are no longer alive. Na nimeachiwa watoto sita. Shosho ameaka zaidi ya ite. Niambieni anamalizia mwendo vipi na akaniambia zamani alikuwa ataka kwenda England akanyanganywa pesa yake ya pension na watu westerns almost 400000 at anatatua visa zikaibiwa no wapetwa ni wapi hapo tunagojewa kwa watoto jambo lingine kwa dunia hii na mengine labda we mwenyewe ni we ni problem. Mulianza doa kenywa. Mnaanza na kasi na kazuri nikupatia kwa Allah. Mnaka wacha mwanze kukomaa pesa ingie muwe wajuaji. Mnaanza kwa sana. Unakuta hata kuopa pamoja ni problem. Kesha hamuji. Unakuta mzee siku za prayer and fasting. Mama anakura haombi wewe mzee there are so many wise bishop at the last day ile siku kanisani tunafunga my husband na ni wa kanisa hata nimpikie waze wengine wakora no kimfuata ukimfuata kabisa let me tell the truth msidanganywe hakuna mtu anaasi Mungu ambaye katika mwili wake na akili hakuna haja anguka kuna kitu kimeanguka kuna kitu kimeregea wazee kama hao mwachie mke wako hapo mwachie mwachie binti yako ya chunga atakuguza kuna kitu kimeisha haogopi Mungu haogopi sheria za Mungu haogopi madhabahu ku 
kuja ibada ni kuhudhuria ibada tu haji kuona Mungu aja kuhudhuria ibada ya Sunday we need friends to change now changamoto hii ya kumalizia mwendo hakuna mtu anaishi miaka ya nguvu mara mbili let me tell leo i'm preaching maybe 15 years to come itakuwa kusimama ni shida kuhubiri labda ni unaona sasa kuhubiri na sasa unaweza hubira kila labda niombea watu it is very hard haiwezekani bwana anirudishe ateni revise miaka about nilipoteza can't happen if you are 18 years old you are 18 years old ukifika 15 50 where's rule the 40 hello praise god kuna bishop wetu mmoja ako na very prime proud very prime proud proud prime wacha ya gidhigidhi ya maguta ila ni maguta maguta proud yake iko pahali ambapo is the most commercial area in israel kama wao baba twende kwa bank Mukienda kwa banko mani mzee anaulizwa account yako are you joint with your son or daughter anaambiwa indirectly the kind of money bishop ataka upewe your age cannot allow unajua kuna miaka inafika hata insurance does not cover you <laughs> kuna health sikuizi kuna health schemes kama yetu tumeanza wachungaji ya retirement kuna wachungaji nilitumua barua wachungaji kama si kabla bishop how amefika miaka ambao we cannot accept their retirement fund they are already retired how hata wakileta ingira tutaki waambie wachukue pesa yao yo yani ile miaka inaonekana naturally hata ukienda binguni hakuna maswali mengi tutakubali haraka kiumri bwana tusaidie sana vijana mnaolala kanisani utahubiri crusade lini wasichana mlio kwa kanisa unafikiri karama za Mungu how do they work do you know the holy ghost work through your body ndio ninyoshe mkono wa kuponya hivi it is physical Dio nipereke injiri kwa crusade It is physical Roho wa bwana hutumia migu yangu Kama hayedi sasa When do you think the Holy Ghost will use you? Un baba jeri ni kuka huyu Last time The grandson Pilot Captain alikuwa meka hapa Nikauliza Pilot Ugataka daddy aoe Asa, oh, Bishop is too old. Ndi guka eh, ukataka guka oe, si usoswali yaga. Bishop is too old. Yani, kana agaria jute za muze kwa muke, anaona, ay, guka na geto hora. Ndi tabuiza, tasa, ndi tabuiza tena. Unaonaje? Aa, akae. Sijui jeri atasemaje, jeri sija muuliza, wakiwa na kina kemi, lakini sijui kama captain is your spokes person. Itaagalia. Buwana asifuwe sana. Hallelujah! Now, it's very hard baba jeri abiwe. Ata tahubiri crusade. Ata hore ghost knows you are old. Musikubali kuona kama Holy Spirit hatabui umuri. Na muangalia vizuri sana. Ukiangalia matayado ya mitume bili kumina saba. The way the Holy Ghost anafanya kazi. Inazamaji. In the last days, I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. Bible talks about pouring Holy Ghost on the flesh. Nita muangia nyama. Flesh. The Holy Ghost work through flesh. Ayo. Fukua bibi yako kwa kwa meyadikuwa flesh, agaria. Kuna wani meyadikuwa watu wote, gina meyadikuwa flesh, mi King James Version inatakemea. Inatakemea which version, but let's see, let's look at it. Acts chapter 2, verse 17. Do you have your Bible with you? Epo fungua Acts chapter 2, verse 17. 
It shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. All flesh. Which means it, it matters. Now, 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 your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Prophecy is for the sons and daughters. Sasa hao ni watu wa kutabiri, kuhubiri injiri. You are young men, you see visions. Yes, kwa maana wakona space in life. But you are old men, shall dream dreams. They can't prophesy. Dream ni mutu akaya tu, aote, aote, aite wetu wegina wabuye, na hii, niliona hii. Kama si hivo, Akati chini apeane story. Kama zige babajira na niyabiaga vya likuwa naenda Canada. Na haku wa meokoka. Anafika airport. Anasawa naenda ngambo. Anakunyo pobe kidogo. Deke na muacha. <laughs> story zingine. <laughs> so zingine. Ananiyabia likuwa. Anafanya kazi. Alikuwa nasomea Jiris High School. Alikuwa askari mkubo wa Jera. Akaenda Canada afanya degree akaenda sijui Japan afanya ingine nini hizo inaitwa hizo ni stories za watoto stories hata mimi nitaka basi kasema ne nilipokuwa bahati nilipokuwa dadora nilipokuwa na 10000 seat story nzuri na dreams zinasaidia mzee amezeka vizuri huwa anaambia watu mambo fulani aliona na hakutimiza like now, Baba Jerry can tell you some things that Agataka Zifanyo and Ha Geweza Fanya and Ataka the son or the daughter Afanye. Daughter, daughter. And therefore, no, you need to understand this. Kuna miaka ya prophesying. Kuna miaka ya vision. Kuna miaka ya dreams. Because the Holy Ghost is poured on the flesh. Sasa, Tuna Shida, Tuna Kaka na Kwaba, Roho Boan Hajui. Catherine, Haju Kiseka. Kama uta ubiri sasa. Iyo di mega kubiri. Usibo ubiri sasa Catherine. Ubiri watu yeko bao keme ya mapepo. Woo! Miaka yu inaisha. Inaisha. And we need now to accept the challenge of finishing the race. The challenge of finishing the race. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Mamba hayo ni amana sana kwa watu ambao. Wanamutumainia mungu alia hai. Jehovah apewe sifa. Ni vizuri kama utamalizia muendo vizuri. Ni nini what you keep you. Kuna mabama wi ya matatu kiroho itakusaidia kama utayahashimu. One, the power of prophecy. Hakuna unabi ambao hauna nguvu ya kutimiza. Na by the grace of God, hakuna mutu hapa kwa hii kanisa ambaye hana unambi wake kama utaruhusu mungu kwa bie. What is prophecy? Prophecy ni ukweli uliyoko katika akiri ya mungu. Kuhusu wakati huu na wakati ujao. It is the truth in the mind of God concerning you and me for now and days to come. Na hakuna haja mungu akaya na ukweli wako wa sasa. Akita ukuabia. Hakuna haja mungu akaya na ukweli wako. How do you know this truth? Ukiangalia sana sana, sio razi mauambiwe, you can get it direct from the Holy Spirit. Kama una roho wa buwana, roho wa buwana aweza, kwa jia moja ato kioba peke yako, kukufunuria, kukueka moyoni mwako, the truth that God has for you. That's why the Bible says in John 16 verse 13. The Bible says something unique. However, when he, the spirit of the truth has come, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not leave you without any truth. That is John 16 verse 13. He will guide you into all the truth. For he will not 
on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. I always ask people, where does Imamba Yarohabana Kusikiza, Ninazikiza? Let me tell you the truth. In heaven, in heaven, there are a lot of meetings going on. And the Holy Ghost listens to them. Kama vile hapa tuna committee ya brothers union, committee ya sisters union, committee ya youth, committee ya nini, I believe mungu akona serikali complete. And the Bible says, Rome takatifu abo mejazwa, husikisa kile wanaongea. And they speak something about you. He will tell you. He speaks. There is something one anena kuzu vile vwe in Tanzania Kenya. He will tell you. So he will listen, and whatever he hears, he will speak. You have Holy Ghost who listens and speaks. Problem about to come now. What wengi hawajui kwamba roho wa bwana aliye daniyako wonge. Now. <laughs> I want to tell you something. It is possible katika maisha mtu kuzima yo sauti. And that's why in Thessalonians chapter 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse chapter 5. Thessalonians first Thessalonians to the hapo sasa. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Wathasaunike wa kwanza, tano, kumina nane, April 22. Inasema hivi, trusting that umefata, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Inasema, rejoice always. Halaloya. Kama kuna mutu wajui verse yote, kethi, kama kuna verse, ukiabuwa kuotu verse, ukanika, hii, You can quote First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16. Rejoice always. It's complete verse. Kuma na wazewe gihana memory verse. Urahana memory verse, I can give you that one. First Thessalonians 5.16. Rejoice always. It's a complete verse. Mama kroteo na tatumia yo. Haya, rejoice always. 17. In pray without season. Verse 18. In everything. Everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Verse 19, do not quench the spirit. There is a way where there is a way you are the cause. 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 Uzivute hii, unavuta. Toa hii, hutoi. Ukiziti sana kupinga, the Holy Ghost will stop speaking. We call that quenching the Holy Ghost. Do not quench the Spirit. Hallelujah. And then again, Waba, do not despise the prophecies. Unabiu natolewa ata huku adika. Bwana likunenea kwa doto huku adika. Bwana liongea fast service ata huku shika unabi wako. Sasa hiyo, hiyo sasa pia inaweza haribu. Verse 21. Test all things. Hold fast to what is good. 22. Abstain from every form of evil. Actually, hii ni verse about what is a summer day day. Ni kama sheria ya Holy Spirit. Rejoice evermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Amen. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus concerning you. And do not quench the spirit. Nadia Moja. Let me tell you a secret. Jia moja ya mtu kutumiwa sana katika miracles. Let me just advise you. Ni the moment you allow the Holy Spirit to flow the way he wants. Ukijiachiria kwa roho mtakatifu, 
is very easy for the Holy Ghost to use you in many ways. And that's why we are saying by God's grace, Nivizuri sana kudumisha power of prophecy. Another thing that will keep you is a Rema word. Rema word nineno specific kutoka kwa buwana kuhusu majira yako ya maisha. There is a way roho wa Bwana atakwambia na wewe nitakutumia hivi na utakuwa hivi na utamalizia hivi. It is just for you. Kuna logos like you to John 3:16 is for all people. For God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's for all people. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini Bwana kulitokea kaniambia mtumishi wangu e, 1991 kubuka three visions nitakutumia nikaona ikaisha baada hiyo nitakutumia hivi na baada hiyo nitakutumia hivyo and that's why i tell you nilipokuwa mgojo 1991 i think 91 i remember i was told by dr bishop pastor you have to be in the hospital and i remember kile kilifanya nipone is when god appear kabia now remember nilikuita nikakuonyesha mama maona matatu na sahijatimia i got to you cannot die rise up yani you just live because of rema one rema one is a specific word for you that determines the length of your life the performance of your life and the seasons of your life na holy spirit ukimfuata atakwambia na hiyo neno ina nguvu na when it come you don't know that is I tell you Satan will fear that word. He will fear. Ni kama hiyo niliwaambia Simeon eh in the book of Acts eh huyu jamaa Mungu alikuwa amemwambiaje hautakufa kabla hujaona Mesia. Na alikaa kaka zaeka sana. Wakati Yesu alipelekwa Hekaru. Roho wa Bwana akamwambia enda Hekaru sasa. Enda. Alipoenda akaona Mesia akasema baba Nilihusu sasa nipumuzike. Nimeona kiyo liniambia. The Rema word is working. Number three, ambao itafanya umanizia mwendo vizuri, is the anointing. Anointing, ni wakati roho mtakatifu, sio tu kukujaza li kujaza, anaanza kukutumia kwa karama fulani. Anointing has name. Anointing is not just a good God feeling. Wakati utaomba sana, mtu usikia, na mafuta niyo muagiwa ni ya kuponya. Mafuta niyo muagiwa ni ya unabi. Mafuta niyo muagiwa ni ya kufugua makanisa. Mafuta niyo muagiwa ni worship that heals. Mafuta niyo muagiwa ni ya project. Hallelujah. Mafuta niyo muagiwa ni ya kujaka makanisa. There's a man who told me, Bishop, mimi ni muagwa mafuta ya kujaka cathedrals. Ni alijaka moja, kupa kuliko hii. Akamaliza, akajaza viti, akaka PA system. Kaza, Bishop, I'm with that. Akaida ingine. Ya pili jameni ni kubwa. Akabia, Bishop, look at this one. Na ni apostolic faith. Sasa anajaka ya tatu. Ile tulienda ni ya mejenga. Zitu wenda kumuongezea. Amejenga hiyo tonona. Na ambiabe akimaliza hiyo. Anarudi kwa ya kwanza. Agoje etaji. Amia bishop wa mudhuri this. I'm going back. Kwa ile nijenga ya kwanza. Nipumzika hapo. Nikoje hapo. Ana nichukue. Rema word. <laughs> anointing fulani ukonae. You know. Na mujue anointing kama haza huyo. Unaona saa. Kujenga hiyo makadisa. Sikitu kinachukua munda. Na space. You can't stay umelala, ulale, ulale, uamuke kwa na miaka ite. Unaamuka wakati watakuwa kulara. Si unawano medaka. Inu, ni vizuri kujua wakati mapepo inakudaganya. Ukiona at your age, unaamuka saa tatu. Kai, mimi naabiaga watu, kuamuka saa tatu is sin. Nitoa dhalia. How can you oversleep? At your age. Kwa hana ati ya we. Gugi. Nije kwa kwa sikia saa tatu. 
Vile naona mama na ugodi unaamuka. Ah, Mungu baba, hiyo pepo iende. You, you know why? Inja mja jua. Sasa tuko miaka ambao if you joke around, wazazeeka vibaya. Eh? Then I go by my son, my son, not. Mimi niko miaka ya bill. And I must run. I must, I must run. Na nakimbia. Ha hu nakimbia. Nakimbia sana. Hallelujah. Kama ni maombi jamani tunaamka mapema. You want to pray a lot. Pray a lot. Kama kuna wakati wa kuabadi sasa. Kama ni wakati wa kusikia sauti sasa. You can't bear waste time. Kwa maana kuna mudu ukipito mepita na hauta na umu muana. Ni vizuri ujue miaka ya anointing. Another thing that itakusaidia ili overcome the challenges of uh, ya kumalizia muendo uh, finishing the race is covenant promises. Katika biblia kuna aha, kuna ahadi abazo ni za agano. Promises that carries covenant. Unakuta kuna ahandi, buwana ahandi, ambao ime shikamanishwa na success ya maisha. You see, like now tithing, kama kuna watu wakona nafasi, nisizote hapa. You have, you know God says, test me in this. Ni wafi katika dunia hii Mungu amepewa tu chance. Ni jaribu kwa hii jia. Have you ever thought about that? Haya. Promises ambazo zimebeba eh covenant hope, covenant walk. For instance, let's check that one. Inasema nini? Let's look at it very quickly. Aha. Uh -huh. Malaki is the last book of Old Testament. Inasema hivi, let's look at it and think about it very quickly by God's grace. Inasema hivi katika Malakai chapter 3 verse 10. Leteni zaka. Zaka ni fugura kumi. Zaka. Malakai chapter 3 verse 10. Ebu fugua hapo. Kwa mano watu wegeo sa umagi neno vili imeandikwa. Imeandikwa tulete. Apana. Let's check the details. Leteni zaka au fugura kumi kamili. Kama kuna siri kubwa ya tithing is those three ones. Leteni fungu la kumi kamili. Now, can I ask a question? Nilini kamili huwa kamili. Kuna watu 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 taidi ya mushara. Dunu ata imaji na kunyo hapa kuna taithi. Imaji. Mwono wangai. Do you know hile mayai mama na kupikia kuna taithi hapo? Na sikina na unakunya kama bili wewe. Muna njua hile soro ni kwa duka pale kuna taithi. Taithi kamili is difficult unless you pray. I tested God one day. Nikafanya maesabu yangu bwana. Nilikuwa hapa saa kumi na bili ya subuhi. Nikaona kuogeu. Kweli wiki hii mapata yangu ni 300,000. Nika kwa bahasa 300. Na nika shukuru. Iyo bahasa waga yona. Hala loya. Meshika hivi. Chodo ikuje. Nika uliza mungu. Kwa maana imeandikwa leteni zaka kamili. According to you Holy Spirit. Is this tithe? He. Bada kaniambia that's not your tithe. Kamada unasikia? That's not your tithe. Niliacha hapa mkiaburu pasa, nikaenda pale, nikainama. Nikatavutia pesa, nikakopa pahali hivi, ikafika 30,000. Ikakaja 60,000. God, is this much? God told me that your tithe was double of what you thought. Nikatawa 60,000. According to me, it was that. According to God, it was double. And from that moment, nikona kazi gumu ya fuku na kumikamiri. Mimi nikijua ni mepata elfu miambili na peda kutoa tithe 40,000. 
Because time kamili. And from that moment, brother Gedaiga, God is making way for me. Unatoa unatoa time kwa sikia bwana kwambia yes, hiyo ndio time. Unajua unataka ukitoa usikie. Wakati Habri alitoa, Bible says and God respected Abel and his sacrifice. Alijua hapo hapo. Na Kaini alipokataliwa, alijua hapo hapo. Unatakiwa sada ukitoa tithe iwe so complete kwamba the Holy Ghost confirm it. Ukitoka ile gate unatoka kudai ahadi. Yesu ainuliwe. Yesu ainuliwe. Unajua huu huu si baba wewe. Where is your son? Kuna kijana hapo. Ndio gethuku. Kevin, Kevin najua hapo kujua. Kuna wakati mmoja yuwa kakwa kadogo. Kevin nilifundisha hii mambo. Nikafundisha tithe as a revelation. Your son followed me. Kabla bishop tuonge. Kati tu. Nataka uniambie fungu la kumi kamili. Because bishop lazima nifanyike kile kimeandikwa. Na kanizubua sana. And the boy discovered. And niambia Sunday tuliachana by Tuesday alikuwa kuna kitu alianza na alikuwa na profit ya 6000 in two days. Katineja. Na kaza kuniambia hata nakuombea upate ufunua kama dadini mzee hivyo na haja bringi kai dalgara baba ageogulio haleluya bwana asifiwe lazima uelewe but god says something here nasema let me figure let me let me just read this and then we finish this is part nasema hivi let any za fugura kumi kamiga rani ili kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu mkanijaribu kwa njia hiyo test me in that way ah uh, just test him god is so true but anasema why don't you test me mjue kwamba i'm true i can do it asema nini muone kana kwamba sitafungua doses sitafungua madirisha ya mbinguni na kwa mwagieni baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la na kaona Mungu anajua baraka inahitaji kulidwa. Akaogeza baraka ya pili. Na kwa ajili yenu nitamkemea ule alaye. So your blessing will be secure. Na kwa maana akataka zidumu, akaogeza tatu. Wala hata halibu mazao ya ardhi yenu wala msabibu yenu haitapukutisha matunda yake kabla ya wakati wake katika mashaba asema bwana majeshi ukiona mahali Mungu asema asema bwana majeshi ameamua kuwa Mungu wa vita kali there are some titles god anaogeza after promise to show i'm presenting myself as a commander of army i'm presenting myself katika jia ya uso ya kuwa mwanajeshi asema bwana wa majeshi i'll do it Haleluya. Ni vizuri one of the thing itakupatia mwendo salama. Ni ahadi za Bwana ambazo Mungu alishikamanisha na baraka za maisha. You need to know them until you become. Haleluya. You know there are so many. You know sometimes you wonder. Unaposoma Deuteronomy 28. Have you ever thought about the scripture? When it says kama utasikia sauti yangu kwa bidii na kushika maagizo ni kuagizao leo yote ndipo nitakapo kutukuza juu ya mataifa na hadi hizi zitakujia mpaka zikupate haleluya amen and i tell you kama kuna ahadi ambayo Mungu anaahidi ambao ukisoma takustua is what in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14 Adu yatakuja kwa jia moja nitamtawanya kwa jia saba utakuwa waju wala hutawai kuwa kwa chini you shall be the head and not the tail nitabariki kazi ya mikono yako amen god says majira ya mvua na mavuno ikifika nitakupa you know it's powerful 
ni vizuri kushikamanisha maisha na ahadi zilizobeba baraka zikuvukishe zikuvuki unapata kunasema kuna jua kali lakini this promise haitegemei jua it will take you across haleluya can I ask a question ukisoma uh, genesis 26 You know the story? Wakati kulikuwa na jaa kubwa. Kubwa! Kuliko ile ilikuwa wakati wa Abraham. Na Isaac akafikiri ahame aende Egypt. Bwana mwambiaje kuja hapa usiende. Ka katika hiyo inchi. Bwana akamnenea ahadi ya Abraham. Kwa maana kwa maana inchi hizi zote ni zako kama ni hivyo pia baba yako utaogezeka kama nyota za anga when god introduces a promise that carries blessing utaona what happened kukiwa hivyo hivyo wakati hata president hakuwa na chakula hata ma ministers kwa maana huyu ana ahadi inaobeba baraka akapanda akavuna mara mia mpaka akawa na nguvu kuliko the king these promises can carry you are a cross mpaka unapata kwamba you are not a product of circumstances you are a product of the promise have you ever seen families that are a product of circumstances it's true one day I met a man. Kabi ya bishop kuja hapa. You see that daughter? Yes. Ako na kasoro. Unajua sasa? We. Unajua sisi mafuta yetu. Hairo usi kujibu sori kama hilo. You can't say ako na kasoro. You know the anointing does not allow. Yeah, kisema. It's better. Sema, sijui lakini yambie. Sinaona bila ako? Huu ni binti yangu aliumia hivyo kwa maana kulikuwa na ugonjwa akiwa mdogo na nilikosa shiriki mia moja ya kumpeleka hospitali a product of circumstance ahadi hizi tazuia tazuia haleluya tazuia bwana ainuliwe bwana ainuliwe una wote wanalia hakuna chakula but this promise can cause you to go through that why Isaac alipanda akavuna mara mia and that's where we got that promise inasema and the man began to prosper continued prospering until he became very prosperous wakati kuna jaa kubwa may the lord bless you Amen. hallelujah in jesus name It's possible. I say it's possible. Hallelujah. Now, katika maisha kuna the other time I just said to the church kuna kitu kinaitwa the test of life. Sema the test of life. Na my test of life and I was sharing nikasema kuna mitihani There are four tests of life. The test of the valley. Kitabu uzeke. Kuna mitihani ine ambao ukipita it will guarantee that you have overcome the challenges of finishing the race. Test of the valley. It is test of your seriousness and commitment kuna wakati maisha inaingia kwa bode na mungu haja kuacha huyu ndiye mungu daudi alisema nijapopita kwenye bode la uvuri wa mauti sitaona mabaya david knew he can pass through the valley of death but god is with him there kumaanisha kwamba the test of the valley Nilipitia kwa bonde but God was with me. 
Mungu aliona vyema Israel wapitie Red Sea but he was with them there. Hallelujah. Inaitwa test of the valley. Ni wakati Mungu anataka kujua, are you serious? By the way, sometimes Mungu nani wa ajabu. Why does God allow some test? For instance, ukiangalia Biblia, hasa Deuteronomy, let's see a scripture there. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6 is a very strange chapter. Kwa maana Mungu anasema iadikwe baadaye baada ya Israel kupitia jagoani. God did not explain hakuelezea why aliwapitishia Red Sea na jangwa. But baada ya kumaliza aliambia I did it. It's not the devil. I did it. It's not the devil. God said, your experience, your desert, it is my own choice. Not the devil. It is a test. Now, you know, na namujua hivyo, ni agarieni. Mwe very careful. Kuna kijana moja wakanisa hili, right now the official photographer, our deputy president. Hallelujah. Anyway, I'll tell you, deputy, I'm going to go. Na katubo kana tokea mzuri. Aniabia bishop, I'm a product of your 700 shillings. Me, I like young men. Ambao wana maono. I can give everything. Alikuja hapa kabia bishop, ni meteseka. Na watu meniambia ni kujangwani. Ni kama pia is okay. Lakini hata katika jangwa viatu vyao haziko kuisha. Kama ni ya mugu, kiatu kisiishe. Guo haziku zeka. Maji lipo kosa, Musa alinenea muamba. Chakwe lipo kosa, ilipikua binguni ikaletwa. Jagwa ya mugu siyo ja. Jagwa ya mugu ni experience, but God is there. Nika maambia, no, 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 no. I, ni nakata hiyo ya watu. I want to bless you. I had uh, that's the only money I had. I bless you. This money is a blessing. Kabi a bishop, happened your years Maisha, and now he is doing very well. Problem ya watu ni kutafuta ma 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 fudisha about ya bibilia. Test ya mungu huwa is an experience with God. Lakini you never get finished. It has, it has God provision. Agaria, bahari ya shamu. Sinimutihani. Sinimutihani. What happened? God was there. Akabia Musa. Nyosha fibo. Kukawa jia. Dio hao jagwa ni tena. Kumekauka. Akabo nenea mwabo katawa maji. Ah, wapedo wacheni kudaganyi. Wajangwa ya mungu. Ina mungu dani. Ah, hallelujah. It is test of God. Even in this valley. For instance, when God spoke about this, let me read something for you here. Katika Deuteronomy chapter 6. Asema hivi. Now, this is the commandment and these are the statutes and judgments which the Lord your God has commanded, commanded to teach you. Now, what I oh, sorry. Let me read this, this other chapter. Mm -hmm. the, uh, chapter 8, sorry. Chapter 8, chapter 8, sorry. Chapter 8. Every commandment which I command you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in to possess. Three blessings. Live, multiply, possess. Say after me, live. Live. Multiply. Possess. These blessings you shall see the mutaishi, mutaogezeka, na mutamiriki. Pia isu makofi. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa vaa studio maneno sama. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to harbor you. 
uh, to harbor you, to test you, to know what is in your heart. Three things. To harbor you, to test you, to know what is in your heart. Three things. Why? No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. I want to harbor you, test you, and to know what is in your heart. But the process, he is there. Bahari, Iwajia. So, Katika Maisha, the test, praise God, the test of the valley, ni test ya, are you serious? Are you committed? Imambo ya kuokoka, imambo ya kutumikia mugu, imambo ya kwa ni muke wa mutu, we ni mume wa mutu. Are you serious? Are you committed? Au ni kusha unacheza? The test number two is test of the mountain. Mutihani wa mulimani wakati abao unasikia umefauru mpaka unakosa control. When you feel you are so successful, you lose self-control and you are controlled by lust and pride. God you like to make sure umepita mutihani wa mulima. Oh, liona uko juu sana. Shida mutihani wa we niangalie. Mutihani wa vali huwa mtu anakuwa mkali. Si ni mutano ni mutihani wa kupokukiwa kidogo. Lakini mutihani wa mulima watu wengi wapiti kumani wakati ya bapa huna ugojwa pesa ukonae kwa wale timeja watoto wanakunywa maziwa tele katubo kakona fixed deposit account ikona millions hello hey unakuta we na muke wako mliku bakuwa we kwa bode hey murioba muripenda na guy ikona toke nyura na we Wacha fika kwa mulima. Mama ako na account ya 10 million. We uko na SG ya 10 million. Mama na shida hasa hii muzee. Ati ni muweshe guo. Millionaire. Aweshe mtu guo. Ni ati anake. Millionaire. Na mimi kazini na amuru watu. Ati ni amuke nipikia mtu. Hai ni ati. Yani. Na 10 million siki tukikubwa. Tumeziona. Tumesisikia. It's not much money. Ni, ni one ikaogeswa zero nyingi. <laughs> Hapo ukiuliza ni wa mama wangapi? Doa zao hazikupita mtihani wa mlima. There are so many. Na katika hiyo hali, ukifikiria kwa hapo nafauru, you lost your children. Do you know children sometimes get lost on the mountain? Hamuko wa muna omba, ibada muna chelewa. Watoto hato li wambia, kazi nzao ni wajika, musisalimia hao, hawana biatu. You lost your children in the pride. Hello? Hii mutihanu wa mulima, ina test uwezo wako wa self-control. Even wa kazi hati ni na pesa. Unanjua siku hizi kuna watu hazi kuja kesha? Maitajirisha. We, niangalie ni? Waze? Nandiyabia vijana wengine hapa. Zamani, I was still a bishop. You are pastor. Nikuwa na wambea, munaenda karua maombi. Katoroni. Kwa kisi kuhisi wanaenda kaya? Kwa kisi wanaenda kaya? Kwa kisi wanaenda kaya? Kwa kisi wanaenda kaya? Wewe ulikuwa unaenda sana. Siku tunaendaka. Sija sikia. Wewe ulikuwa zamani ukienda na kuombea. Siku isa kuombea. Na kuombea kama magama pa ya magari, watoto. Ya maombi kuja ni kuombea siku moja. Na nita kulipia fea. Kwa ya wiki moja. Nani mwingine. Tukagwe watu huko. Baba wa home. Wede kari. Kile maini. Hawali. Uwa hakuwa na kosa kataroni. Sini kweli. Wakua na Pastor John na waigua. Is this a team? Ni adere. Ni adere. Leke ilo kora adora, dozi yaka. Ilo kuru watu kuhitano kore ya. Gajia wakulazima brother. 
Ya kutulie. Na wadada wengine huku. Ni wakague. Mama Agnes hapa naagalia chini. Agalia bishop. <laughs> Irogu. Eh? Uje ni kutupe. Mugiwa na baba wa home. Na nani mwingine. Na kebadhi. Kwa <laughs> mwingine. Na mwalimo Francis. Ah hiti. Ah, Ukawalia pia bishop. Wiki monja tuwa kwa mulima. Tagu muoe. Hakuna jabu kwa mwefanya. Muli tupata tu kwa doa. Sisi tu akshikanisha. When we are still praying. Kesha hatu kosi. Si watu si sinuonkea. Sinu kuonkea kama mzee wa boma. Muli ya ragi ya kwa ke. Ineki. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's true. The test of the mountain. Ni bwana kuona. Can you? Can you still keep tabia ya kiroho ulio kuwa na embereni? Can you still keep? Unaweza. Mahitaji liisha. Sina upaya to. Ora. Na weo siyenda kuigiria mamba yetu. Nona heo dhudo wako. Asi igiria hini yetu na wewe. Sidiyo? Ata wewe uwedi. Ata wewe uwedi. Jituwa kwa ya gima. Hihihi. It's true. Pastor, one of the problems to come down and say, Hapa, is that now, now, what a young couple. Now, when you know, like, he, he, too, like, he, yeah, Pastor, Hapa, okay, okay. She didn't come back. Sasa, diyo, muna itaji maombi, sana. Do you know you need even kuba maombi mengine and boy, takubuku wa biguni? Kama hile, Yohana, liyonyesho, kwa kwa, kwa pot. Ako, nini, nini, ni maombi ya wateure ni meweka. Prayers of the saints kept. Bwana yesu wa inuliwe sana. Ili, ata wakati tunakama nyumba ya pesa nyingi, we can still fast and pray. We can still kesha ikiwe kwa ata wende tukoku tukiomba. Ata kama kuna kusiri kama ya wiki, we can be there for five days. Hatu, huta niambia, siwezi kucha, Crusade kwa sababu ya kasi. Crusade ni ya siku ine. Yes niambia hivo. Kuna kijana mmoja niambia baba yake. Ni zamani tukiwa muranga. Duka yao ilikuwa napata customers wengi. Saturday morning. Ah, wengi. Baka naambia mbuka wake. Nina wama alitha. Enda useme. Siwezi acha ikasoba. Nikaabia, uyu that young boy knew, dad you soon be very poor. Iliisha kabisa. Kwa nukumonja hapa isiri, alikuwa na mkahawa. Kambia brother, I'm worried. I'm worried. You'll be poor very soon. Stop doing that on Sunday. Imambe ya kufugwa yu kazi Sunday. Now, Iliisha Incidentally Ata family yake Iliisha Na mtafuta siju Itapata wapi Piteni Mutihani wa nini We mama wakati huku wa kazi Uninyekea chini ya umu se Wacha sasa umepata kazi Na pesa Unashidua Who will you do who to what Who married who You see Yes, there's a lady who asked me that question. Bishop, mimi diyo ni menunuwa nyumba, ni kona gari, muzea ajui driving, mimi na mbeba. Now, tuonge ukweli in practice, in practical definition, who is husband, who is a wife in this place? That marriage, irisha, irisha. It requires test. Margaret Thatcher, munajua, do you know Margaret Thatcher? She was the strongest prime minister in the world. I don't know kama kumaikuwa prime minister duniani mwanamu kama huyo. Alikuwa naituwa Iron Lady. Alikuwa mumia sugar factory. Asema, can I speak to women? Yes. Asema, I'm the strongest prime minister in the world. I know it. Currently. Akasema, amepewa allowance na government. Ata anayeza hosho wa mwiri. Anything. Mnajua serikali ya Britain how it is rich. Akasema ye ni prime minister inje. A 
akifika kwake she is no longer prime minister ni muke wadhaja na akasema i'm the prime minister but i cook for my husband i'm the prime minister but i prepare his clothes i've never been prime minister to my husband nae akitoka nje mume wake anamheshimu kama prime minister wa serikali ili kusialibike test test of the mountain test of the mountain bwana ainuliwe wazee wakati huko na pesa mama alikuwa anamheshimu mama alimheshimu sana acha pesa ingie unaheshimu customers kazini unaheshimu workers kuliko your wife you need to pass the test of the mountain ni test ya self control ni test ya kudumisha misingi ni test ya nidhamu ukipita hiyo i promise you you finish your race well the challenge of finishing the race test number 3 inaitwa test of waiting test of waiting kuna wakati Mungu anakupa space agataka mgoje badala ya kukibisha akasema i want to see you waiting test of waiting is when what you want is ready but somehow hidden it is the test of value and power of sacrifice kiri ona kiko lakini akiachiliwi haraka lakini unasikia tu kiko Mungu anajaribu kuona kama wewe ni we value yako we ni mtu wa kudumu au ni kama makaratasi inaotumeka haraka wewe we matirio yako ni chuma au ni bao kani mabebe what is the content the value na kitu kingine ambao ana test hapo ni power of sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Sacrifice ni kupita uwezo wako wa kawaida. Nimevumilia kuliko kawaida. Nimeomba kuliko kawaida. Nimejitolea kuliko kawaida. Test for sacrifice. Ukipita hiyo is very easy to overcome the challenges of finishing the race number four ya maisha ito, test of finishing mtihani wa kumalizia mwendo it is when god test your ability to be consistent ability to concentrate to the end ability to focus without wavering or losing heart ni wakati mungu anataka kujua uwezo wako wa kutulia na kutulia na kuendelea your capacity to continue consistent means kuendelea bila kukoma kwa baki ulianzisha huagushi your consistency na namba 2 wakati Mungu anataka kujua anataka kujua uwezo wako wa kuconcent kuzigatia wewe ni mtu anazigatia kitu mpaka mwisho au unaweza lenga bila kutetemeka na bila kuvujika moyo for test test of the valley test of the mountain test of waiting and test of finishing pita mitihani wewe and i say by the grace of god utaona kwamba challenges changamoto cha kumaliza mwendo huu utajishida Bwana wa amani awabariki. Ukitaka kusikia sehemu nyingine this message I'll be preaching the last part if possible in ibada ya ine. May God keep you and cover you. Let's start for prayer. Hatuna muda wa kupotesa. Nyinyi ambao ni vijana leo The other day I was looking at picture ya Billy Graham and how fiery that man was akiwa kijana. 
and now he is dead nikiwa gabelone and thank god for your prayers bwana sana crusade was very successful to hear that apostolic mission is the largest church in gabelone it was big harvest i could see pastor yo kanisa alihubirwa na bonke could see now the photos but bonke alizeeka akakojeka na akafa kweli kuna majira ya mtu umesimama kwa hii kanisa kama kijana several years to come picha hii itakuwa ikitolewa how you look the young that time maybe you be alive or dead ni vizuri wapendo wakati huu tufanye as much as possible for this time and this age time has coming when utatamani kutenda mambo utaabiwa sasa achia wengine and yet yale about wataka kufanya ni yale you are supposed to do now lakini ulilala we need to be very careful about the challenge of finishing the race nataka wapia bwana chochote nahitaji kufanya sasa help me to do it now raise your hands to heaven mabia bwana i want to arise for this season i want to arise for this age i want to arise now Kaposita na makatara bosha shererererema teka posota miketere mazina monta pakasha katara bazaya shererababo sakatiri mazina ribabo we bless you king jesus we bless you lord of lords we honor you we honor you lord we honor you we honor you sharababa kataposota Shekatarabo zendereba Shereriba koseta paposa Es possible Mungu akubariki na kuinue Es possible Bwana kutedema ku Motaba kaseka Unaishi wakati wako Wakati wako dio hu Thank you Lord Jesus Thank you King of Kings Haleluya. Bwana wa mabwana bariki kanisa. Bariki bariki. Help us at this time, at this age, this season. When the Holy Ghost an attacker to tabiri. It's our season to prophesy. It's our season sons and daughters to prophesy. It's the season of young people to see vision. It is our season to do exploits for our lives and the church of God. We love you, Lord. Oko hapa and you are saying, Lord, I want to go back to my season. I'm not leaving si kai majira yangu kabisa. Si kai hiyo majira ulisema wana wenu wa kike na wa kiume watatabiri lord nataka tu roho bwana nirejeshe majira yangu holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit mtukuze yesu kwa ikanisa mtukuze yesu mtukuze yesu mtukuze yesu glorify jesus christ in this church holy ghost holy ghost glorify jesus glorify jesus glorify his blood matarabo seka my apostle god want to restore you to the right season to the right speed unaenda pole pole lakini watakao kukimbia umelala watakuwa kuamuka Unacheka watakiwa uwe serious. Hmm. Unakaa bila kazi when you are supposed to be a millionaire. I say your season, your season, your season should be claimed now. I say with all my heart, katika ibada hii kuna watu wengi wanakobolewa. Kuna watu wengi wanakobolewa. Kuna familia zinakobolewa. Inua mikono kwa Bwana. Mwambie God deliver me now. Deliver my family. Deliver my family. Deliver my children. Deliver my soul. Deliver my youth. Baba koboa ujana wangu. Koboa usichana wangu. Koboa
kuboa uvurana wangu kuboa kuboa baba shakatarabosa shekatarabosika rekepo sota pa oba kabisa kuna ukobozi unaendelea i sense the deliverance now deliverance for families deliverance for seasons yes 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 whatever you are whatever you are whatever you are god is touching you whatever you are hala mashaka poka kuni masekerereba kuna maraika wanakuhudumia whatever you are kama yeye ni mgonjwa receive your healing Angels are ministering in this church. Angels are ministering in this church. Wherever you are, there's a nature touching you. There's a nature touching your children. There's a nature touching your business. I sense the ministry of angels. Holy Ghost is at work. Bwana rejeshea watu. Uhai na baraka. Kibari na urithi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shararaba katarabo zina Me katarabo shetareba kaya Asante bana We love you Lord You know what we're going to do Baba Katika jina la yesu mwana wa mungu wali hai It is clear in my heart Kwamba kuna watu hapa wa melala when they should be awake kuna watu hapa wanateremka when they should be crying kuna watu hapa wameketi when they should be running kuna watu hapa wanatengana wakati wanatakiwa kuwa na umoja kuna wengine hapa watoto wao wanawasubua wakati watoto wao watakuwa watumishi right now mungu wangu nikiwa bere yako na kwa nguvu zako ninaamuru rejesho sasa ninaamuru rejesho ninaamuru rejesho twaagamiza mila ya ibirishi kila kituo cha mapepo na kiteketesa na moto wa mbinguni kila kituo madhabahu ya giza yachomeke sasa mawazo ya kigeni yagamie tabia za giza zikufe there's power in the blood of jesus power in the blood of jesus wapendo wa i send deliverance receive your deliverance right now kama uja okoka pokea wakovu mahali huko right now right now god is forgiving you god is forgiving you kama ambao sheda kama yeye ni mgonjwa hiyo tupo pona mawazo hayo yapone mikono yako ipone kila kiungo cha mwili kipone nyumba yako ipone nafsi yako ipate amani asante bwana asante bwana katika kristo tunashukuru amen